Hey, what's up guys? Joe here coming at you today and we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, something I should have started a really long time ago, the Loot Series. So what I mean by that is I have a Town Hall 8, a Town Hall 9, a Town Hall 10, and a Town Hall 11 to farm. Uh, multiple accounts that I'm trying to farm. we got to change it up. It gets really boring. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a strategy, put it on display for you guys, for you guys to test out and try for yourselves, and hopefully it'll help you out to change up the madness and actually bring you something that you actually enjoy doing or even testing your skills while you prepare for war attacks. So the best place to start this out is on this Rush Town Hall 10 called Sarge Train. And we're going to be taking a look at a strategy that I started, uh, I posted a video a really long time ago, about a year ago almost, called the Super Knife or the uh, Queen Walk In to Goblin Knife, whatever you want to call it. Yes, it's an expensive army composition just before warned. However, it does bring in a lot of loot and it's also multi-purpose. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Giants, we got goblins, we got wall breakers, we got wizards, we got healers for the archer queen, baby dragon for help set the funnel or moving my queen in the direction I want her to go, a heal, three rage spells, a jump, and then two poison spells. But the best part about it is it does not require clan castle troops and my heroes are very low. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of replays uh, from this strategy and we're going to start off from the top. And we're going to go ahead and get in there and take a look at this thing. So basically, like I said, this thing is multi-purpose, meaning that um, it goes after, you know, gold, elixir, or dark elixir. Really, the main focus here is getting in on the dark elixir, which obviously on this base is here in the center of the base. And I really need that. So I'm really focused on my heroes. So I drop the archer queen with my intent for her to walk south down south using that baby dragon over on the opposite direction for him to travel down and have my queen go the opposite direction this is how i control my queen either using a wizard using a baby dragon it depends on what defenses are in range but anyways we got infernos on this base but they're weaker level infernos nothing really uh to stress about they're not in the core of the base so obviously a poor base design who's really um you know picky about looting bases and what the makeup of it is if it's weak or strong when you're looting more than likely you want a weaker base design so that's what we're actually targeting here we're going to use a couple of our uh level seven goblins to get rid of those structures and force my archer queen into the base i'll drop a rage spell for that barbarian king and then i'll let her work for a moment now what i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to bring my giants in from the south down here and take on this inferno tower to get it out so i'm going to drop my giants in a wide spread allowing my queen to work she's got enraged healers on her so she's fine for a moment and i can take my eyes away from her and focus on the south over here so i get a couple of wizards down let the giants work get the wall breakers in i think i had a wall breaker fail but no worries we're not going to stress we're going to use a rage spell and get our giants moving paying attention to our queen our queen was taking a lot of heat up there so we had to use her royal cloak ability as she starts to take on double expos at the same time but don't stress it you still have another rage spell use the heal spell for the giants the giants need the heal spell it is no good for the queen because she has the healers on her so um anyways use a jump spell we're going to get those giants to continue on into the base and then we're going to start dumping in some goblins and see where they go seeing what they target so they're going to target the gold storage down here and then they're going to go after that town hall and then they might jump into the core hopefully they do that's really the intent here wizard tower is putting in work on the goblins but we have that archer queen up top putting in work and getting the uh, dark elixir that we needed so the goblins take out the town hall and then the archer queen gets the center uh, uh, compartment and takes care of that dark elixir storage so we get three 34 26 dark elixir and then a little bit of gold and elixir off of that as she starts to maneuver up she got real close to this elixir storage walking directly into the inferno tower very smart queen Anyways, we're going to end it right there, and we're going to go back out, and we're going to jump into another raid, uh, going in on... If you pay attention, I'm going after stuff that's over 2,000 Dark Elixir. The idea is Dark Elixir, but, but if I find abandoned bases with dead loot, I'm going to take it. So this is just one strategy of many that we can use. So we're going to go in, and we're going to get in on this base. Again, have an Inferno Towers. And uh, the one Inferno Tower is down for upgrade, and then the one level three is down in the south. So we're going to kind of try to avoid that. 
Um, with the Archer Queen, she cannot go into an Inferno Tower and last very long at a lower level like she is right now. Uh, the higher level you get, you can get a little bit more gutsy with it and take it on, but I wouldn't recommend it. Either way, we're going to go ahead and take care of this air defense that's sitting here within her range. And the Archer Queen is going to take care of that air defense. We're going to use a Rage spell there because she's starting to take heat from that ground set expo. And then she's going to go ahead and uh, shift her fire over to the west and start taking care of structures. And then she's going to shift back the other way. So this is something you got to pay attention to. Uh, don't freak out when she does it. If you're not really setting up her uh, pathing, she's going to pick the next closest item five to seven tiles away. Drop a rage for that barbarian quick king as well as dropping a, a wall breaker to get her into this compartment. Uh, we want some of that elixir so we're going to go ahead and send her in here and let her take on this base by herself level 22 queen holding it up for a little bit uh, you need the rage spells mainly for that queen if you can save a rage spell for the goblins even better but anyways so the dark elixir is on the center of this base and we're going to let that queen work and take care of structures over here she got one elixir storage um, and she's starting to work on that expo and we might actually have to pop her ability see how I'm having to be patient here We're not rushing it. We end up using that uh, last rage spell on our archer queen We're gonna get a little bit more value and then we're gonna start dumping in our uh, Giants from the south and they're gonna work up into this town hall So baby dragons over here in the far south working on structures and we're gonna guide our Giants into the base wizards are gonna assist with this process as well as our barbarian king we do not have clan castle troops and that is fine. We uh, drop our heal spell to heal up those giants as they maneuver in. Obviously healing effects do not work when it comes to inferno towers, but it doesn't matter. Barbarian King's gonna work on that town hall and we're gonna get the goblins into the base. Wizard tower falls so it's even better. Now our goblins can work. We got jump coverage into that middle compartment and then we got uh, the giants in the middle compartment as well as our goblins rushing in and they get directly in on that uh, uh, dark elixir storage, getting it down and now we are at 4,059 dark elixir, 300,011 elixir and 142,000 gold. Not a whole lot here, but like I said, this uh, attack strategy is multi-purpose. We can use it for more than just dark elixir. We can use it for elixir. We can use it for gold. However, it's very elixir based, as you can tell by the strategy or the composition right there. Heavy elixir based. Reason why is I'm going after dark elixir. That's my main focus. So one more attack replay before I've actually run out of replays. Replay not available right there behind my head. Very lame. Anyways, we got this 100%. And as you can tell by the amount of loot on this base, we have 500,000 uh, 500, a pop on both gold and elixir. And yes, it's a Town Hall 9. I'm going to attack a Town Hall 9. I hope you would too. That would make sense. <laughs> get it. Just get the loot. Take all of it. So anyways, we got 2817 Dark Elixir. We're going to use our queen and she's going to maneuver down and she's going to continue to move down into this compartment where that um, cannon and then we got an air defense and she's going to continue walking down south. Uh, she's going away or going into the backside of this sweeper. So we're not really worried about the sweeper pushing our healers off. So healer coverage is continued. And then if I'm not mistaken, I actually bring the giants up from the south and then kind of everything just kind of ties in. Uh, the jump spell, I like to hold on to it for the giants, not the archer queen. The archer queen will maneuver. She'll get caught up on a wall. We're not going to worry about her. She'll stay safe as long as you got a rage spell for her and those healers, and she'll continue to take structures out. So level 22 queen. Um, I said that before, didn't I? Anyways, I wouldn't recommend this for anything lower than a level 20 queen unless you are super skilled, super skilled with a queen walk. Anyway, so we got our giants going in on this base. They're going to take out that Tesla. We got the Barbarian King backing them up. And we got wizards backing him up. So they're going to take out that Archer Tower. And then they're going to shift their attention back down towards the south where we got a cannon and then also a, a air defense. Our Archer Queen has taken on that Barbarian King and we had to use a Royal Cloak ability. So you have to pay attention to everything that's going on on the map when you're doing this attack strategy. Heal spell for our giants. Jump spell into that next compartment, and then we're going to use a rage. 
rage to get rid of that wizard tower and then also setting up for our goblins to go into the base obviously we dropped a few goblins there and they're going to kind of go around and then once they start targeting inside the base then i'll drop more so we're going to drop more goblins they're going to get in and then the archer queen is actually taking out the stuff in the core of the base and then we're going to use it where it's multi-purpose multi-purpose meaning if there's storage is on the outside of the base save your goblins for the outside don't send them on the inside get all the loot on the outsides too so your goblins are perfect for this uh, this strategy can be used at town hall 9 and town hall 10 and town hall 11 just haven't really done it at town hall 11 because i'm up in higher leagues and i'm using a lot of air at town hall 11 so uh, when farming remember that what you do in farming does not necessarily translate over to war attacks so you don't want to necessarily take these army comps into a war attack unless you are extremely skilled and um i don't know there's a certain term for that i don't know exactly what i want to use there so anyways we are down to um the bomb tower our last gold mine fell and now we have exactly all the loot that was on this base over a million of uh, loot on both gold and elixir and 2817 a dark elixir so the main focus here is is mainly dark elixir for myself to get my heroes down that's the idea here so anyways now that we've finished that let's go see if we can find a raid and do one live for you and hopefully we can find one that's actually a really good base to uh, hit uh, looks like we got a pretty good amount of loot on this one we got a lot of dark here uh, very easy to get so we got inferno towers poorly placed I mean nothing really much to brag about here so a lot of the dark is up here we got dark up here we got dark over there and then we got dark over on the opposite side where's the other drill the other drill there should be three drills on a town hall 10 and i'm oh it's down there by the queen the archer queen's got it so we're gonna try to stick away with our queen walk we're gonna try to stay away from that uh the um inferno towers we're not gonna go ahead and mess with that too much uh, we're going to go ahead and get our healers down. And I'm going to try not to talk too much. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Instead of jacking my jobs and messing up this raid. So we're going to go ahead and try to get that compartment open. Compartment is open. And we're going to go ahead and let that queen work for a moment. Air defense is on the inside or interior of the base. Let's go ahead and get our baby dragon down. Start guiding our queen towards the south. We want her to go to the opposite direction. And then we can leave the top of the base over here open for our dragons. If, or not dragons. Goodness, we're not using dragons. We're using giants here. Uh, so we could probably bring in our uh, giants from, from the opposite direction. We want to try to get as much of this dark elixir as possible. Considering there's one right above my head there. And then we got one on the opposite side. So you have the archer queen is going to end up uh, walking south. And normally what I like to do is tie in my giants into my queen walk and so now she's op walking the opposite way and she's going to continue we're going to end up getting hit by some air defenses if we don't open up that compartment so we're going to open that compartment and then we're going to let her take out that air defense and let her just continue her walk not a big worry here um we got a minute and 40 so we're going to go and drop a rage there before she starts working into some heavier area there and we're going to start working on getting her giants down Get the uh, wizards down there and we're going to maybe open a compartment here I don't know now we're gonna use a jump here and then we're gonna go ahead and rage some stuff up and get everything going uh, Giants are gonna get beaten up pretty bad by that inferno tower the inferno tower needs to go down the inferno tower is gonna go down momentarily come on take it out drop that heal spell anyways um, as the Giants continue to move towards the south and then the the wizards will follow them up. So don't forget, oh, oh our king is getting tore up. And he's going to go down momentarily if he does not get rid of that Inferno Tower. And he's gone. Goodbye, king. King is no longer with us. The king decided that he wanted to depart um, what was going on here. So anyways, we got this uh, Dark Elixir storage over here. We're going to use that last giant there. And we're going to flood the area with our goblins. And go ahead and collect up the rest of this stuff that's going on here. And we'll go ahead and do this. A little bit of a waste of uh, you know resources here, some of your opinions, but I did get all of the dark elixir. So who can really complain when you're getting all the dark or even all the loot for that matter? We're gonna go ahead and pop her ability, go ahead and get rid of that. And we've pretty much taken out majority of the base with just those little bit of troops. Well, it wasn't a little bit of troops, a whole lot of troops. But anyways, hopefully you get something out of this video. Uh, hopefully you pick something up out of the stri strategy. Try it out. Stay tuned for the next uh, 
um, strategy to come. I don't know what Town Hall I'm going to do it at yet, but it's going to be either Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, 10, or 11 in the loot series. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish it up there. Um, drop some comments below if you want to see your strategy featured at your respective Town Hall. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.